Okay, officer, just to establish what we've summed up so far here, in response to your inquiries, no, I don't know exactly how fast I was going. No, I'm not on my way to or from a fire. And no, I don't believe that I'm Dale Earnhardt Jr., but those are all very clever and witty questions, and I assure you I'm thoroughly intimidated by you right now. And now, if I may, sir, I'd also like to take this time to say I'm sorry to you for whatever happened to you as a child that turned you into the colossal prick cop that stands before me. Children can be cruel. Adolescence can be such an awkward time in our lives. And clearly, the physical and or mental abuse that you must have sustained during those formative years had a dramatic effect on your self-image and the person that you are today. This has rendered you little more than an insecure, vindictive douchebag on a power trip. And I totally understand that. Just look at yourself, sir. You're overweight now. I can only assume that you were probably a heavyset child. Children probably called you names like lard ass and sir porks a lot. And that's just not right. And on behalf of attractive, slender people everywhere, I just want to say we're sorry. Of course, a great deal of blame lies with the education system. They obviously didn't take into consideration your special needs. I mean, how were you supposed to keep up with the normal kids? You can barely string a sentence together. Think of how happy you would have been in a classroom with your mental peers. You'd just be there all day making things out of clay and elbow macaroni. How grand that would have been. Why couldn't they have realized that you're borderline retarded? So let me just apologize again on behalf of smart, slender people with normal-sized penises everywhere. Oh, there's no reason to deny it, sir. Your face says it all. How many women have outright laughed at the sight of what is surely your childlike genitalia? What other reason could you have for being such a colossal hand job of a man? So I am sorry, sir. I'm sorry you're a sadistic bastard who likes to intimidate people to feel better about his own pathetic existence. Well, I really feel like we cleared the air here. And if you'll excuse me, I'll be on my way. Step out of the car, please, sir. Okay, but I don't really see what else we have to talk about. <laughs> Oh, what? What? Why are you doing this?